April 9, 2011, in Saskatoon, we visited Walker's Nightclub to see Atoric release their full-length debut album, Death Propaganda. On the same bill were Descart Scripture and Alberta's own Death Toll Rising and Reverend Kill. Descart Promotions was on scene to see it all go down. Thank you. 
Promotions, and we are talking to Drew. Drew, um, who else is your manager? Um, well, we got Tyler sitting in the corner over there, and uh, our singer Jesse, our bass player Devin, and our drummer Brian. Awesome. And where are you from? We're based out of Edmonton, Edmonton. and an area. Area. Yeah. It's a big area. It is. I mean, it's a big area. We started in a small town called Stony Plain, but it's about half hour outside of Edmonton. So. So what was the best thing about playing tonight, did you say? Best thing about playing tonight was, I don't know, it sounded pretty good on stage. Yeah. I mean, when I, when I can hear most things, that's a bonus. Because the kind of bars that we play at, you know, you can't always count on that sort of thing. So, it's fucking a good crowd too. Yeah. You know, like a couple people uh, had seen us before in Alberta and, you know, a couple people were singing along as part of our work. So, that's, that's always awesome. cool to see, especially in a place where we've never actually played this our first yeah. time in Saskatchewan. That's wonderful. Where else have you been playing? Like, is this just a, a day trip? Uh, no, no, there's, we're actually on tour right now. It's our first Western Canadian tour. We started last Thursday in Prince George. Uh, then we went to Kamloops, then Vancouver. And we had a few days off. Uh, and then this past Wednesday, we did Calgary. We were in Medicine Hat last night. Tonight in Stoon. Tomorrow we go to Winnipeg, then back to Regina on Sunday. Then we finish off in our hometown in Edmonton on Monday. That's wonderful. That's yeah. awesome. First Western Canadian yeah, tour, for sure. Pretty cool. What would you say your inspirations are as a band? Inspirations as a band. Influences or inspiration? Both. Influences, of course, are. Um, well, in influences range a lot, you know, especially when members come and go. Like our Tyler, our new member here, he's, he's brought a lot of uh, more technical prog type stuff to it. Yeah. Which uh, we really appreciate that. <laughs> um, you know, like Jesse and I, the, the singer and I, were the only two original members currently, and we're big into like thrash and Swedish metal and stuff. And that's kind of where our influence came from. But then, you know, when we got Brian in the band, he's a huge Gene Hoagland fan. We brought a lot of that kind of feel to it. So, and you know, everything from from Death to Syl to Carcass to Metallica, you know, Pantera is a big influence on this too. Um, inspiration of that I just meant. What makes you come together? What, why, what do you like? What message are you trying to leave for the people well, who watched you tonight? 
we don't really convey much of a message or lyrics are pretty gory and satirical and unserious. But uh, I don't know, like we just like to rock hard and make people devastated. Make people devastated. Pretty much what we intend to do. That's awesome. So where can we find you? Where can we get CDs? Uh, well, you can get a CD from our merch table Excellent. right now. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'll let you know how it is. You know, anyone else? I mean, we don't really have an online ordering thing set up, but you know, just get a hold of us on MySpace. It's myspace.com slash metal or Facebook, just search Death Toll Rising on Facebook and you can find a list of our members and get a hold of any of us and you can certainly mail out a CD. We got some MP3s and stuff online.